video I'm showing you some restaurants with beautiful views around Rawai and Naihar. The first one is really difficult to find. You have to go down a small soy or a lane opposite the Rawai Seashell Museum, which is just over there. The restaurant seems to be closed at the moment, but this is a really quiet place. One time I came here and made three videos and there were no customers during all of that time. It's actually quite nice, it's right next to the sea, you've got a beautiful view out here and it's very cheap. I've eaten here one time and I really can't remember what the food was like, but I do remember that it was good value. This next restaurant is Nakeda's. It's a really good view near Rawai Pier and looking out to the islands. It's morning now, so there's no one here, but at night time, this gets really busy. All along the seafront here in Rawai Beach, you can buy food. They actually cook it in the restaurants opposite and then bring it over to here, which is right by the sea. If you want a really cheap alternative to going to a restaurant, then I recommend getting some food either from a street vendor or from 7-Eleven that's got quite a selection of food. You can then bring it down here to Rawai Beach and eat under the trees. You can put up a hammock or you can put a mat on the beach and there's even some benches as well. go right to the end of Rawai Beach, it's actually on the west, then there's a small alleyway opposite Coconut Restaurant. If you come down here then there's some more restaurants further on and I haven't seen this before, there's actually a few food stalls as well. around seven or eight restaurants along here all on the beach and these are pretty low-cost restaurants there's something to look at things going on behind me and there's even someone kite surfing This is Rawai View and it's not so easy to find so I'll show you on a map. This place Paradise Beach Bar is right on the beach so a really good location, a great place to have a drink. I did eat here once and I actually wasn't very impressed with the food but it's a really nice location to just sit, relax and have a drink.
car park for this restaurant is a little bit hard to find so I'll show you on a map but basically you come past Prontep Cape and turn left into a coach car park and then take a left again and come up a really steep slope. Let's go and look at the restaurant. I think it's closed at the moment because it's the morning, but let's go and have a look. I'd say this is in the top two restaurants for view. I used to come here a lot, but I haven't been here for a few years. Maybe I'll come back again soon. This isn't really restaurants with a view, but I wanted to mention it because I think it's a really good place to eat. You can bring a mat and have a picnic here in the trees, and it's really near the beach. Also, there are some restaurants at the back here, which used to come down right up to the beach, but they stopped that, the government stopped that. You can still buy some food there and bring it to the beach, or buy some food and have it here, or there are a few stalls around that you can buy some street food. I'm at the end of Nyharm Beach. If you look out to sea, then this is on the very far right side. And behind me, you've got a couple of restaurants. I've never been to them before, but I think they're pretty cheap food. You've also got one that's overlooking the beach behind me here. And that one's got a really good view. I think it's more expensive. It probably belongs to the hotel that's here, but I know they've got a happy hour, so you might find that a bit cheaper. This is where you find my favourite restaurants. If you go through the hotel, which is at the end of Nyharm Beach, it looks like you can't go through, but you can. You actually go through and keep to the left, and then you can go right through to a place called Al Sain. This restaurant here looks out on a really beautiful view. The surroundings look kind of quite messy, but I suppose if you're having good food and you've got a beautiful view, then it doesn't really matter. I haven't tried the food myself, but I think I will try this soon because it has got a really good view. This is currently my favourite restaurant. Uh, I've come here a few times recently and it's great because it's got a really beautiful view and also there's a great sunset which happens over there. So I really recommend this one and I'll show you where it is on the map.
So this is the final restaurant and you couldn't actually get any closer to the sea. It's right on the beach. The great thing, it's really clear water and you can hire snorkels. So I really recommend this spot. It used to be really quiet. It's getting a little bit busier now, but it's still pretty good and nice and relaxed. So that's it then. A lot of restaurants to choose from down here in Rawai and Naihan. And I think the food in Thailand's great and down here in Rawai and Naihan is really great. There's plenty of good views and a lot of these restaurants people don't know about so they're not so crowded as other ones. <laughs>